Hello guys. So today in this video, we will see a very confusing concept uh, usually asked in interviews also. What's the difference between probability and likelihood? Okay. So let's jump onto it. So let's say we have a data set. Okay. Uh, we have collected heights of some individuals. Let's say we have M individuals with us. Okay. And let's also assume that this particular data follows a distribution called as normal distribution. And this is how a normal distribution looks like. Okay. And for every normal distribution, we will have some mean and some standard deviation. Okay. So in this case, let us assume that mean is 155 centimeters and standard deviation is 4 centimeters with respect to heights of individuals. Okay. Now, probability in order to understand what probability is. So let us consider this particular statement here. Okay. So if we select a person at random from this particular data set that we have, what is the probability that height will be between 163 and 167 centimeters? So how do you calculate it? So it's the area under the curve between these two values, right? So on x axis, we have this heights, right? So the probability of a person, if he or she is selected at random, the probability of height between 163 and 167 centimeters is area under this particular curve. So the shaded region here. So this will give us our probability and how we can write it mathematically. So what is the probability of, if we select a person at random, what is the probability that height will be between 163 and 167 centimeters given mean is 155 and standard deviation is 4. So what will be the probability? So in order to calculate this, you will need to find the area under this particular part of the curve. Okay. So this is what probability is and how you can calculate the probability. You already know something about the data that you, that is at hand. Okay. So you already know the parameters of that particular data distribution. So in this case, since we are considering normal distribution, we already know the distribution parameters. What is the mean and what is the standard deviation? Okay. So given that we already know the parameters of the distribution, if we want to calculate the chance of something happening, that is called as probability. Okay. Hope this is clear. I will take another example, another set of examples where we are dealing with discrete values towards the end. Okay. So hope you understood what probability is. Now let us see what likelihood is. Okay. So let us say we have this particular distribution. Okay. With some value means mean of 155 and standard deviation of 4. Okay. So if we have a person whose height is 147 centimeters. Okay. What is the likelihood of this value belonging to normal distribution with mean 155 centimeters and standard deviation of 4? How you write this mathematically? So it is written as likelihood of mean is equal to 155 centimeter and standard deviation is equal to 4 centimeter given height is equal to 147. So what we are doing here? We are trying to find out the whether this particular distribution makes sense for a particular observed value that is height is equal to 147 in this case. Okay. So in other words, the likelihood of this particular data point where height is equal to 147 belongs to a distribution with mean is equal to 155 centimeter and standard deviation is equal to 4 centimeter is nothing but the value at that particular point on y axis. So what do I mean by that? So if you go to 147 value on x axis and the corresponding y axis value is your likelihood. So this part here, the value of this here will be your likelihood. Okay. So what you are doing here, it's just a reverse of probability, right? So in likelihood, you are trying to find out how much suitable the parameters are given that we have already observed something. Okay. So this is what likelihood is. So an another example with respect to likelihood. Okay. So let us say we have shifted the distribution a bit. 
now instead of mean and standard deviation being 155 and 4 centimeters let's say now the mean is 145 and standard deviation is 3 now what is the likelihood of mean being 145 centimeter and standard deviation being 3 centimeter given that we have already observed a height of value 147 so now if you look at these values in this particular distribution diagram 147 comes somewhere here right so let's take this as 147 so what's the likelihood so it's this particular corresponding point on y axis correct so this particular point so this is our likelihood so now if you compare the likelihoods of these two distributions on this particular data point the likelihood of this point belonging to this particular distribution is higher than the likelihood of this particular point belonging to this particular distribution okay so hope i am able to convey the message and hope you guys are able to understand what likelihood is so it's just it, it is just the reverse of probability so if you have understood the probability so we are in probability we are calculating the chance of getting something given we know the distribution parameters okay in likelihood you already know that there is an event already happened what is the likelihood or what is the chance of that particular event belonging to some distribution with some parameters so that's likelihood okay so it's confusing but once you understand it it's fairly easy to explain okay now you have seen it with respect to continuous data so let us jump to uh, data where we are dealing with discrete values okay so let us say we are tossing a fair coin okay so this this will be a random event or random variable okay so since we are already saying it's a fair coin we know that probability of getting heads or tails is 0.5 correct because it's a fair coin right so what's the probability of getting tails it's 0.5 how it is 1 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 0.5 so this is probability now in order to understand likelihood with respect to discrete random variables so let us take the same example but instead of tossing it one time let's say we are tossing it for n times and let's say we are making a claim that coin is a fair coin and let's say that we are tossing it for n times and let's take n is equal to 5 here so if we are tossing a fair coin 5 times let's say we are getting heads every single time so we get five heads in a row so we toss five times and we get five heads in a row five heads in a row right so this has already occurred this has already happened now since i got five heads in a row i will be thinking that whether the coin is actually fair right so in order to understand the likelihood of this particular event okay so let us frame the statement now so what's the likelihood so i'll write it it will take a minute what is the likelihood of this coin being a fair coin being a fair coin given we get five heads in a row okay so this one we have to estimate okay so how do we estimate it so since we are claiming it to be a fair coin probability of getting head each time will remain same 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 correct so the likelihood of this coin being a fair coin given that we have already seen five heads so what it will be it will be 0 0.5 raised to power 5 0 0.5 into 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 0.5 so this will be very small number very small number correct so this will be around 0 0.0312 if i'm not wrong i think i'll get 5 in the end okay so this will be a very small number so the likelihood of a particular coin being fair is 
just 0.03125 given that we have already observed five heads in a row okay so this is what likelihood is okay so hope you guys understood the difference between probability and likelihood and hope i have not confused you further so if you guys have any questions please post it in comment sections i'll be i'll try to take another example and try to explain it to you guys okay so if you guys have any questions please feel free to reach out to me via comment sections if you like the content please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe thanks one and all till we see in the next video happy learning bye bye